Today's topic is APGAR score. The APGAR score is an assessment of the physical condition of newborns in their first moment of life. This assessment helps health practitioners in their decision making so they could quickly tell if a newborn baby needed immediate medical care. An anesthesiologist at the New York Presbyterian Hospital named Dr. Virginia Apgar discovered the score in 1952 to assess the health and vital signs of a newborn baby. The test is given at one minute after birth and again at five minutes after birth. In cases where there are still some concerns about the baby's condition, the test may be given again. The score obtained at the one-minute mark determines how well the baby tolerated the birthing process, and the five-minute score tells of how the baby is doing outside the mother's womb. How does it work? The APGAR score is calculated by evaluating the baby on five criteria. Each criterion receives a score between 0, 1, or 2, depending on the observed condition. The values obtained from each is then summed up. The resulting APGAR score ranges from 0 to 10. The five criteria are appearance, pulse, grimace, activity, respiration. Appearance or skin color. If the skin color appears blue, bluish gray, or pale, the infant is scored 0 for color. If the body is pink, but the extremities, like the hands and feet, are blue, the infant is scored 1 for color. If the entire body appears normal and is pink, the infant scores 2 for color. Pulse or heart rate. If there is no pulse, the infant scores 0 for pulse. If the pulse is less than 100 beats per minute, the infant is scored 1 for pulse. If the pulse is greater than 100 beats per minute, the infant is scored 2 for pulse. Grimace, or reflex response. How the baby responds to stimulation, like a mild pinch. If there is no response or reaction, the infant is scored 0 for grimace. If there is a facial movement only, the infant is scored 1 for grimace. If there is a cough, sneeze, cry, or pulling away, the infant is scored 2 for grimace. Activity or muscle tone. If the muscles are loose and floppy and no movement, the infant is scored 0 for activity. If the arms and legs are flexed with little movement, the infant is scored 1 for activity. If there is an active spontaneous movement, the infant is scored 2 for activity. Respiration or breathing. If there is an absence of respiration, the infant is scored zero for respiration. If the respirations are slow and irregular, with weak cry, the infant is scored one for respiration. If the respiration is normal with a good, strong cry, the infant is scored two for respiration. What does the score mean? The first APGAR score gives the health practitioners a clue in deciding if the baby needs immediate medical attention. A score between 7 and 10 is good and means that your baby is in good shape. If the score is between 4 and 6, it means that the baby may need help with breathing, such as suctioning the airways, massaging, or giving him oxygen to help such baby breathe better. If the score is 3 or less, the baby may need immediate resuscitative measures. However, a slightly low score is common in babies born prematurely, with complicated deliveries, or through a C-section. The second score helps the health practitioner to know how well the baby is progressing and whether the baby has responded to any previous medical intervention. A score above 7 is considered normal. If the score is still low at this point, the baby may need medical help and will be monitored closely. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.